Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the semi-finals of what is a 24-man pool competition happening here at Diplomat Billiards Cafe in Kajansi near Kampala in the East African city of Uganda. The game on table is the clash of the Ibras. Ibrahim Kayanja taking on Ibrahim Sejemba coming back with live commentary shortly. This is going to be very exciting. This is going to be very entertaining. Tag a friend. Ibra Kayanja is the guy wearing blue. Ibra Sejemba is the guy wearing white. That's the tops. The two are definitely some of the best players in Uganda. The both of them. The guy on the table, Ibrahim Kayanja, is in his early 20s, started playing pool in Kampala, the area of Bwaise, first pool club for which he represented was called Mbago Pool Club based at Mamboli Pool Arena in Bwaise, represented them for two years. Today, last year he represented two clubs as well, including Mokono Pool Club, which also first was known as Regents Pool Club. Then he completed the season with Senior League Giants Scrap Buyers Pool Club. He became a big revelation to the sport of pool, especially in Uganda, in the year 2021, as a very skillful player who simply decided to take on the very best players in the country to many matches, winning the big majority of them a performance which prompted the national team to give him a chance to come and participate in the trials he participated and passed the trials with flying colors in fact of all players subjected to trials he was the best performer and got an opportunity to represent his country at the all africa blackboard championships in zambia at the oidc in 2000 and 22 and he was the best performing Ugandan of all reached the semi-finals after and lost out his semi-final bout to the eventual winner Aiden Joseph back home last year he he was the first runner-up in the Grand Open Pool Championship of the Pool Association of Uganda after losing out in the final to Kenneth Odong. Apart from that, he reached the quarterfinals of the King of the Table Championships after losing out. If I'm not mistaken, actually it was a round of 16, losing out to Caesar Chandiga. In the league, the last time he played, that was last year. He was the second amongst the top scorers. He also was the top who scored the highest number of apples, break and finished games, a record he held jointly with Senor and Joe Glorious. He achieved the highest number of ranking points of all the hundreds of players who played in the league and thereby becoming seed number one of Uganda for the first time in his career. He's about to lose the first frame of the day to his opponent. It's a race to six for a place in the final and there Ibra Sejemba puts the black to lead 1-0. Ibrahim himself 
is another Ugandan in his early 20s. If I'm not mistaken, he must be 23 now. Started playing the sport as a very young man. And would you believe me, at the same place where his opponents learned how to play pool, that is Mambule Pool Arena, in Kawempe, Bwaise, Central Uganda. When he became of age to play pool, he was signed up by Capital Knight Pool Club already as a very good young player. And in his second year of competition, he helped them win their first league title in 2018 with Ibrahim Sejema himself as league top scorer. He moved on to Ntina Giants Pool Club in the year 2019. They too won the league with him as a player. The following year after COVID, he moved to Sharks Pool Club in Zambia to join up with his international teammate Caesar Chandiga. On return, he found the Ugandan Pool League in early stages of its second round and was signed up by Mbari Pool Club. The time he played the league, he was without doubt the best player in the league and helped Mbali to their first league title. He's the only player who was part of the last three league winning teams of the National Pool League, both all of Capital Knight, Nintendo Giants, as well as Bali Pool Clubs. As an individual, he takes credit for a number of trophies won on the Pool Association of Uganda calendar. It is the Christmas Cup of 2018, as well as the King of the Table Championship 2022 as an individual he also has a multitude of trophies won for himself out as outside of the pool association of uganda calendar so many of them over 10 actually most notably the double elimination competitions at upper volta both in 2020 as well as 2021 the a play championship 2000 and 20, as well as 2021, the Mkomba Open competition in 2021, and the Boise Open 2019, amongst others internationally, he is credited most especially for winning the Matthew Mulube Championship, a tournament of 64 of the best players in Africa and from countries like Zambia, Uganda, Tanzania, South Africa and Zimbabwe. On that occasion, he defeated Zambian seed number one, Victor Sinyeza, in the final. The two have played about six times before. All I can remember is that Ibrahim Makayanja has defeated Ibrahim Sejemba twice, with the other four going the way of Sejemba. This is the second frame of the day. Today they are racing to six for a place in today's final to face either Bwanika Mansur or the winner between Chimera and Dog City. My name is Peter Chobe. I will be back. Enjoy your view. Thank you for watching Jovan Mutia. Ivan Oketa, welcome to the stream, Joram Nabasa, J Jerry Mabe, Seb Sebastian, Benson Simonga, you're saying Sejemba all the way and you're watching from Zambia, Ali Mogera, and all of you, 
we are over 400 at the time of the night when most of you could have been sleeping i appreciate the fact that you are supporting the talents of these young men by according them the publicity they need as they play ibrahim kayanja trying to equalize against ibrahim sajemba he was in tip top form ibrahim kayanja last year but this year actually ever since he lost his unborn son actually his one day old son he has not been himself for about nine months he is only trying to return to his groove now if this shot can be testimony maybe yes it is he's a very 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 skillful player one of the very most skillful players in the country there he equalizes one one Kayanja seems to mean business, ladies and gentlemen. He's just about to pounce on white potted on the break by his opponent. There we go. He will probably pot the white with white following the red off the cushion to put black in the center accurate at times he goes fancy even when he could have gone a little bit easier but it is his style that's how he wins that's how he loses with one visit he now leads against ibra 2-1 he is nicknamed Masidamu. it is just direct translation for muslim well, his opponent, his nicknamed Mayweather, a name he gave to himself after being an idol of the great American boxer Floyd Mayweather. Masidamo's management team is TOM, the Olivander management. His new manager is Adam Olivander, a Ugandan best pool enthusiast. Best, his best in the USA. Sorry. Well, Ibra's Sajemba's management is called the Money Made Team, named after his idol Floyd Mayweather's team, also called the Money Made Team.
maybe Ibra Sajima realizes that he has to play a bit of a technical game to try and overcome this guy because the way he has won the last two frames Kayanja Msiramo has been nothing short of clinical in the meantime every time I've seen in the recent past Ibra playing technical matches somehow somewhere he does not win his best approach is to go for the kill right on the break when he breaks and pots he's very difficult to stop when his opponent breaks and doesn't pot he normally sees off such games today he is facing against a very 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 determined opponent the facial expression of Masira Mo and body language even the way he executes himself his shots he is not willing to easily let go this time round Sandra wants to say hi She's passing greetings to Matovu Sula. Ibra Kayanja on the reds by his body language, he's trying to go for the game. It cannot come easy at all, but these are very skillful players. It is possible. Good run from Sejemba. It should be two two in the next few months. Lovely skill, lovely skill, lovely skill. Everything about this clearance has been very good so far. Hopefully he signs it off with putting the black, goes for the center and puts. 
This time he breaks Ibra. I'll call him Sejemba because both players are, by the way, Ibra. Breaks and puts both colors, goes for yellows. Only one intention on his mind to sweep this frame away. It won't come easy. Look at the two yellows near the black. Maybe it is this shot to open them up. It must be the intention. And opens them up. Not perfectly though. And the second semi-final has also started off between Mansoor and Dog City. We shall momentarily be getting updates from that one as well. My intention was to go live with both semi-finals, but the nature of the arena is that such that it won't come easy to place my gadgets to record a second semi-final comfortably. We shall simply be getting updates from the second table. Yes, it is 1-1 one -one between Dog City and Mansur. A lot of action going on in Ugandan pool. Tomorrow will be some kind of a rest day on Friday. The Nile Special National Open Pool Championships will be resuming with the regional qualifiers at New Victoria Bar in Chileka in Kampala, as well as Upper Volta in Kasubi, as also in Kampala. On Saturday, the qualifiers will also go on at Kasba and Restaurant in Kansanga in Kampala, and as well as Mango Sport in Nkumba in Entebbe. We shall hopefully have live action from Upper Volta and from Kasba. At Upper Volta, expect attempts to qualify from Gideon Nebuanika Dan Mobiru, the legendary Sula Matovu, Robert Tomsime, and the players of the like. While Kasba Kansanga will even be tighter, expect Ivan Kanyesuje, the deaf but very talented player, Vincent Sechiwole Lucas and the new kid on the block Ian Kaziwe Saturday Kasuba here it is 2-2 two -two, first semi-final of the day between the two Ibras while the other semi-final is also tying 1-1 one -one between Mansuru and Dog City the winners will be facing off in the final for the money Thank you for watching Geoffrey Jaggi, Omar Ahimbiswe, Christopher, Innocent Musinje, Wesley Raymond Jr. I think you're supporting Musidamu, BM Mazo, Jovan Motiaba, Ali Mogero, and all of you. As we close in on the, six, on the 700 mark, it is 2-2 two -two as Ibra prematurely Sejemba Ibra prematurely pots black Kayanja Masira now leads three two
What's going on is a slow technical frame. 
which looks to be poised in favor of Masiramu. By Masiramu, I'm meaning the taller Kayanja, the taller Ibra. He has only one red, which is not in direct space. Actually, it is a yellow. Now with that shot, it is advantage Sejemba in this match. Kanya will need a big shot here. With that shot, it seems he wants those two or three center pocket balls and then deal with two other balls, probably play a shot which should open them up. The game is in a situation where he needs to go for it, but it is very difficult too. Lovely shooting this from Kayanja. I do not know what he's thinking now, but this is the moment where he will either win or lose this frame. He's not short on skill, this guy. I think he's playing the white ball off two cushions. One, two, three. This is too much energy. This is too much energy. Maybe luckily he gets unsnookered. He can see, actually he can see the black. If he can cut it very well, it is portable at that pocket where he is standing. I'm 
4-2 Ibra Kayanja in the lead they are racing to 6 given the way he's playing so far I would think he's the now imagine of favorites to win this match it doesn't mean that every anything is sorted at all his opponent is more than capable of mounting a comeback thank you for watching Murushid Love Latifo saying Musiramo road to the final Mwana Mlenga is uploading Musiramo's shot Jovan Mutiaba thank you for watching Rashid Wagawa Dog City is leading 3-1 against Mansur. Yes, confirmed it is 3-1 for Dog City against Mansur. The winners of the both semifinals will face off in a final in around 30 minutes from now. Jimmy and Mbiwede, you want to challenge them both? Good luck, Guinness and Meleki. You are saying you are supporting Sergio Maibra. Come on. Viva Kurio Jeshi, thank you for watching. Kim Mika, you say, you say this is a very great match and you are watching from the Republic, the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you for watching. Samuel Jackson, you are uploading the shot. Thank you for promoting the player's talents by uploading some of these shots on TikTok. Abdallah Lukwago, thank you for watching. Ali Magera Davis Ahumuza. Malove Zamuila says that's great to learn. Benny Bernardo, thank you for watching. Gasham Kaunda, thank you for watching. You are, you are uploading the talents of these guys. Pook Hubbard, watching from, from Virginia in the United States of America. You are thanking us for the stream. You are welcome. Keith Junior Sichilima, you are saying, come on, Ibra. Caesar Madrid Dreadlocks, you say you are supporting Sejemba Ibra watching from Lusaka, Zambia Innocent Meleki, Pasli Kunda from Zambia. Welcome to the stream. Davis Ahomuza supporting Mosiramu. Sentong Ronald, thank you for watching. You are saying Ibra will win this match somehow. Saida Malomueno, watching from South Africa. You are waving your South African flag and uh, saying it's a good game. Thank you for watching. Live from Malawi, Andrew Jason. Thank you for watching. Sharon Obako, David Howe. You are just arriving and you are saying it's a nice game, the Battle of the Ibras. Yes. Much, much. Thank you for watching. Watching from Mansa in Zambia is Mal J. Magazevic, you say it's great precision. I think from Musila Amo. Vin Vincent, you are watching from Juba in South Sudan. Odin Khan Geoffrey, thank you for watching. Kamadi Uji, thank you for watching. Musisi Vincent, you are asking if it's a break time. Ibra Sejemba asked for a two minute break time, but it's now over. The game is resuming. Here we go again. Ngidi Temba from South Africa, thank you for watching. Lan Moja Kelly, thank you for watching. Spina Shamina, you are welcome to the stream. Kingsley Ishanev, watching from Nigeria, welcome to the stream. Beyonce Godwin, welcome to the stream. Brian Kalisa, you are saying Team Magician. Magician, by the way, used to be a name of Mansur nickname. Sentongo Abdu, you are saying Magical Sejemba Ibra is like Messi. You are watching from Zambia, Basong, Sakala Jr. Welcome to the stream, Juma Saiko and all of you. Over 700 of you who have kept yourselves glued to your screens even during timeout. 
thank you for according these players this spot the very necessary publicity it always needs in the background top of your screen is the scoreboard the blue represents Sajjamba Ibra the red represents Kayanja Ibra Masiramo it is 4-2 with Masiramo in the lead as the game resumes Ibra's tactical game is one that doesn't normally pay off many times that he does play it. Like you can see a shot like that one. Trying to play either to pot or occupy the pocket with his ball in full and yet he leaves a lot of space enough for his opponent to utilize to play his ball either side of the yellow. His opponent responds by potting 
It's a game poised either way. It can go either way. If you look at both of the yellow balls occupying the corner pockets, there is a lot of space between the jaws of the pocket and either of the two balls. That means they are all the pockets are almost not occupying, especially the fact that the guy playing the red Kayanja is the one on table now. He looks confident because he knows there is a lot of space for him to manipulate his balls around. 4-2, Ibra Sejemba in trouble as Ibra Kayanja now fouls. Opportunity for Sejemba to win his third game of the match. Good free shot. Sets now all of his balls and continues to free the black a little more. From his body language, as if he's trying to mean that the two yellows touching each other where he's standing, as if they are not going in the pocket with when he plays, as if it's what he means. He will just simply tap them. Patience pays. Yes. Thank you for watching. It has now become tense and tight. Thoughtful. Tactical. One of these guys will have to exit this tournament in the next 10 or 15 minutes. One of the Ibras. As we now close in on the 1000 mark. Watching live. Kayanja against the red for the center pocket and misses. Thank you for watching Basong Sakala from Zambia, Ronald Sentongo, Yekini Magaina, Brian Kalisa. This is Sajemba trying to be as vintage as he can be. Black is meant for center. He goes for the corner pocket, goes for center actually. Gets no problems sporting. Narrows the gap to one game. It is now three for Sejemba Ibra and four for Kayanja Ibra. They are racing to six, meaning Sejemba needs three games while Kayanja needs two. Maximum number of games left is four if they are to go to a decider. Thank you for watching Spina Shamira, Zephat Firi, Fulham Matinga, Juma Saiko, 
Patrick Banda. McFarlane Chico Himeta. Thank you for watching. Keith in Timber. Saiba Monk. Hamed Midu. Sharif Gagmel. Velase Habana. Michael Zakas. Love Kelly. Lebanon Hilayane, Sylvester Miji, Hope Matenga, Kafesi Sefk, you are watching from Malawi. There you have your Malawian flag, Kevin Kmara, Mvelase Habana, Paseka Shabalala, Joram Nabasa, and all of you closing in on the 1K. Witnessing the battle of the Ibras, one of them has to exit this 24-man competition in a few minutes. Ibra Kayanje is leading 4-3. His opponent, who is on table, Ibra Sejemba, is trying to win and equalize it to make it 4-4. Somehow this guy... Plays white to try and start with the more difficult ball, trying to draw the white back, but must be on target, accurate almost. Maybe not exactly the shot he wanted, especially the white did not move as close as he wanted. He will want to put with white bouncing, maybe off two or three cushions, such that he can put the black and ah, misses. This miss is a big, 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 big advantage to Kayanja Ibrahim. He was almost getting equalized, and yet he has an opportunity to extend his lead to 5-3. At times, he does things to the white ball. Then you wonder where other people train from. He will put. He has two options. He can simply roll the yellow ball, the white ball with. Actually, it's the best option. He can either go for the center or the corner pocket, either way. No pressure needed. As long as he can put, the black is in space. Good shooting. Good, 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 good shooting. I think he has enough space to put black in the center pocket. And once he puts, it will be very, very, very difficult for Sejemba Ibra to try and come back. Yes, he does. Five, three. The player under the Adam Olivander management. I know his manager, best in the USA, Adam Olivander must be watching and watching with a smile
That's it, ladies and gentlemen. The battle of the Ibras is won by Kayanja. He's so happy with this victory. He will be facing the winner between the other semi final between Dog City and Mansur. Congratulations, Kayanja had luck, Sejemba. There go the Kayanja fans. I will be back with the final.